Project Life UK is a passion and demand driven medical charity uh, which was established in response to uh, the needs of people. It started as a simple visit by my family to a hostel in Ghana at Kofurida. And uh, when we were introduced uh, to the hostel fully, we realized that uh, there was a need for people to be helped to uh, treat injuries um, and other conditions better. The story of the problem was sold to friends who agreed to join. And from October 2006, the charity has been working in Ghana and continues to expand. Today has actually been a much awaited uh, day, not only for us, but the patients that uh, have come to see them. Since they arrived, the, the OPD was actually choked with a lot of patients. We've seen very interesting cases, um, a lot of thyroid cases, a lot of breast cases, a lot of uh, skin conditions. In, in fact, a whole lot of cases. Nkoko here has been one of our biggest centers. I was really shocked to see the amount of people we had yesterday. People are unable to pay because it's really expensive to have plastic privately. And I think we'll be proud of ourselves to leave this hospital knowing the impact we have given to the patient and the nurses as well. The problem most people have in this country is that, especially the poor ones, they find it difficult to go to major centres. They cannot afford it. Or when they get into the system, they have a long waiting list and they get lost in the system. So what I find very helpful is that if we can go to the districts where the people who need our help, majority of them having good funds, then we might be able to save them or, or treat them better than the cities. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a big thing and uh, you may have known that it's been a long time we have such a team in plastics to come and, and uh, offer service to the hospital. So when we hear that you were coming, uh, it's like uh, everyone was coming down. <laughs> <laughs> we were happy to meet you and uh, these cases can be fixed easily but because we don't have the specialists, you tell them well go come back maybe another time we will have specialists coming from UK uh, sometimes they don't come back and you ask them where is the baby the baby is dead or the baby is missing which is very very strange so when we heard that they were coming it was a blessing to us because we know that a lot of kids were going to benefit from the services that we we're going to provide It's just the feel-good factor that when you come in and you do so many surgeries for people who practically cannot afford them, who don't probably have the know-how about it, and people who small surgeries can bring such a drastic change in their life. Like when you do these surgeries and you realize that you've made a change in somebody's life, I think that you can't replace with any kind of uh, other kind of surgery, especially for people who cannot afford it. This particular uh, visit has been a collaboration with Health Smile. They've been working uh, in Asia as well, and uh, we thought they would be uh, experienced enough to address conditions that exist in this country, which may not be that far away from what happens in Asia. There are four plastic surgeons um, from uh, different parts of the uh, uh, world uh, who are uh, joining this uh, trip. Mm. 
90% of uh, plastic and reconstructive surgery operations are performed predominantly for children. Um, so, namely cleft lip and cleft palate. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, time-tested uh, reconstructive operations which are very productive in such kind of uh, treat. It uh, improves the appearance of the child. Uh, it also decompresses the pressure on the parents about the acceptance within the family and in the society. It also improves that self-esteem and allowing them to get out of the guilt of why they are parenting such children. I'm a friend of Cleft. By no carry me walk a lano. Na a yeddy. Because me who be da. Me who be da. A year sooner I reho. My next funny shame in crying be be. Copy me near. Mother me say. Eddie me banner be red theater. No money that's what say. And it has so be woho. A man be ban. Say, see, I de mintria one city cry. Yet all my cell so. Sell quen ya no more fa. We are here to help some of the patients who require complex surgical intervention, including plastic surgery, patients such as cleft lip and palate, in association with Help Smile Charity, and some breast cancer patients uh, and some endocrine surgical patients such as thyroid uh, goiters and, uh, and lumps in the breast. We have done release of contractures, release of syntactyly. We have operated on breast cancer patients with large breast tumors. We have operated on large thyroid tumors uh, in, in this particular town. Well, uh, we've been quite impressed about the, the expertise, about how they work. Um, we have quite a number of very good surgeons around who are doing the cases for us. We hope that they will come here more often so that the people who have not been able to afford to have those kind of healthcare delivery for them will be able to get their treatments. So we have uh, got two operating theatres. We are using one operating theatre for operating on patients who have uh, sedation or general uh, local anesthetic linked procedures and one operating theater in which we are operating on general anesthetic patients right from one month old baby for cleft lip and palate to 70 year old ladies with large thyroid and breast uh, tumors. Now they have been with us since 31st August and they have been fantastic. They have proven that they have a lot to offer to the society and um, we pray for more collaboration with them. So far, they've done on an average about eight complex cases per day. Uh, certainly the, the type and the progression of the conditions that we see are, uh, are uh, different and often more advanced and the reason is that not having uh, a service of reconstructive plastic surgery available they certainly don't have the chance to be cured on time and sometimes don't even try to or they don't even refer to a center that maybe exists in Accra but has waiting lists that are far too long so they eventually end up with, uh, by, uh, with the suffering, the consequence of the traumas, their infection or their cancer much further than what we are 
used to see in uh, developed countries. Me <laughs> Machonami <laughs> I am for in fact, many young girls are not going to be to come by. I'm going to be able to get my money and get my money. I'm going to be able to get my money. I'm going to be able to get my We have seen that the training of the staff is quite high, uh, and we are here to bring about the modern care so that we can train nurses. Uh, other members of the staff, such as anesthetists, anesthetist assistants, to help them to uh, address the uh, difference in the uh, knowledge base and the developments which have occurred to them. Um, this is my first time I've witnessed several cases. I mean, where I trained, I saw those things there, but coming over here again has enlightened me, particularly with how to give anesthesia to certain specific cases. So it has enlightened me as well. I'm really impressed with their work, and I wish that they, they come often, particularly to help people around. The difference between Motek and majority of the uh, of charities that come to Africa is that they concentrate on the services and leave with the vacuum. We are interested in working with the people, making sure that they can do, learn from us, and so that when we are not there, they can carry on. In addition, we working with the people, we make a selection of those who have got a talent, and we send them abroad for top up a year or two, and come back to sustain the kind of services that we are delivering, because of, we know that we will not exist forever. But if we help people to train, then our services, even though we might not be there, will continue as long as possible. We are so much grateful for the diatomy machine that you have uh, given to us and it's really going to be helpful. But uh, permit me also to thank the Motec team for coming for, uh, to help us yearly in giving services to the poor and the needy. Motec invites professionals irrespective of what kind of profession you are because medical care involves everything. There are legal issues in medical care. There are people who need faith support. Uh, Sometimes we are building constructions uh, of the charity. Engineers, plumbers, they are all welcome. And people forget that we invite Ghanaians as well. Majority of our membership is in the UK. But there are some members within Ghana who help us. And we welcome everybody. 